up in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Take sixteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now it's the top, right? And you're on the top. Hold it. This one, throw it, pull it. Yep. Right, so dead reckoning, that would just mean I'm going to shoot an azimuth, I'm going to go straight to my point. I don't care what terrain's in my way, I'm going over those hills, across those rivers, I'm going to get there. Checkpoint or attack point, and I'm going to set another attack point about 100 meters. I'm going to keep doing that, that way I have an accurate idea of where I'm at on the map, right? Treat me. Gonna eat some vintage crackers now and then again. Huh? <laughs> I slept with this too. How is it? Oh, what color is it? So it can be overt or covert, uh, and then it's help, it also is used to reorganize if, as a platoon, we're infilling by squads, separated by time or distance. In addition to that, the big thing about picking your patrol base site is your mission. So you want to work there, you're going to have to go find a new patrol base. So first thing is comms. Second thing everyone needs to know in the PB. So if the PB is attacked, we need this place. There should be identified two emergency rally points. Right here, the